Well, here we are in section 2.5, and this is uh, continuous functions. So we're looking here, this is the value C. This is, I'm looking at the constant C. This is always the crucial point here. So this function here, con a function is continuous. You know, there's an official definition, and I put that definition in the, in the section, in the theorem and definition sections of our Google Drive. Um, but basically, in simple terms, a function is continuous if you could draw the function without taking your pen off the paper. That's pretty much the definition officially, you know, more or less. I mean, it's not the official definition, but for most intents and purposes. Um, this function is continuous at the point C because it, uh, it goes, no problem. Now, in order for a function to be continuous, there are three things that have to happen. One is that the function has to be defined at the point in question. So this function is continuous at the point C because... The function is defined, f of c does exist. The limit as x approaches c is, uh, exists, and the limit as x approaches c is equal to the value of the function at c. So let me give you some examples of all these other functions are not continuous. This is not continuous. The limit exists. As, as, f, as, as the function approaches um, c, the limit is that whatever that y value is right there. The limit exists. Uh, that's cool. The problem is that the function value uh, doesn't exist at that point. The function is not defined when x equals c. That's why there's a hole here and there's nothing else. Now, in this case, uh, the function value does uh, exist because you see the point is up there, but and the limit exists because the limit it, on both sides come to the same come to the same value, but the limit. And the fu the function the, the limit and the function value are not the same are not the same thing. See here everything is the same. Here it's it's different. This case here there is no limit, so this is not continuous at the point C. Now this one is kind of interesting because again there's no limit because when I come from the left side I get one answer, when I come from the right side I get a different answer. But uh, there is this idea of right-handed continuous and left-handed continuous. This one is right-handed continuous because the as I approach C, I have a I have a function value and the and the function equals that value. It's not left-handed continuous because as I approach uh, from this side, the the function value would be this value, but but the function doesn't equal it at, equal that value at that at the point C. So that's why it's yes, no, 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 no. But you could just kind of see, I guess, intuitively uh, that all these things you can't draw with a straight line. Now, compositions of continuous functions are continuous. Inverses of continuous functions are continuous, and polynomials are all continuous, um, and that is the truth.